Travis was in the poker industry in the beginning. He was working at Hollywood Casino as a dealer, um, and I was playing cards up there. And uh, it was his last day working there, and I was talking to him about why he was quitting and why he would leave, because it was a good job, he had benefits. Um, and he's like, I'm gonna go work for LeafGuard. And I was trying to recruit Carter to go work for me at the, the competitor. Um, you know, he kind of laughed at me, like, you can't make money selling home improvement or gutters, you know, gutters, who thinks about gutters? It's like the last thing on a home. Um, but in my opinion, once we found KGuard, it was like a light went off. And I was like, this is, this is it. Got the customer service and business background, we got the product and got a good partner to go, you know, put the effort in, so. I felt like it was gonna be successful, but at the same time, not as fast, like Carter said. Basically, our business is all about keeping customers off the ladder. Um, gutters are a product that require maintenance, they require cleaning, because um, without it, water's gonna get next to the foundation and cause issues, you know, cracking water in the basement, things like that. We started it out of my house, um, literally 90 to 100 hour weeks, knocking doors. Um, we did everything ourselves. I did every install myself with a couple guys. He did every sales appointment, answered every phone call. And we just, we grinded. It was, it's a, every small business owner, every entrepreneur understands the grind. You gotta, you gotta be willing to work. I also, when I was talking to him about the businesses I had been involved in and where people had messed up and some other business owners we had talked to, was the biggest problem is seems to be customer service and not surrounding yourself with good people. Not only do you need referrals on the back end, but we're in an internet age where there's videos and there's reviews and everything everywhere. Um, so if you don't have good reviews and you don't provide good customer service and stand behind your product, you're not gonna make it for long. What I think a lot of small businesses make mistakes on when they're growing is a lot of people get stuck in the owner operator role, um, that they have to do everything. like. And it was really hard for us to let go of some of those things. So it's a big mistake in most people's business models is they want to do everything. And that's where a lot of the negative reviews come from in the customer service world is um, they got they bite off too much. They're so focused on, you know, I got to do this, I got to do this, I got to do this, but they're not able to step back and look at everything. Yeah, we, we call them leaks. What's our biggest leak currently we have right now? And that's kind of from a sports and competitive background. Uh, from competing is what can we improve on? Um, I use the old inchworm um, deal. If the shorter that inchworm is, the more efficient you are, the more flat you are, the, the less efficient you are. So if your weakest game is a B on an A to D scale or an A to F scale, then you're, you're a pretty successful business. But if your weakest part's an F and your best part's an A and that curve's real short, you're really just a C business most of the time. I felt like we had a great opportunity and I knew we were going to be successful but I didn't think that it would be as fast you know I feel like where we were at after four or five years is where I expected to be at 10 or 15 mm -hmm. um, so I mean I guess yes I thought we were going to get here but I didn't think that it would be as quick as it was you're trying to learn how to grow the business with what you got and you know you're, you put in a ton of hours and uh, you know, like Travis said, it's it's a grind, but you know, in the end, it's all worth it.